Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting to this video. Um, let's get into your reading. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, Taurus, we do have the new moon coming up on March 2nd. Um, so you can contribute to the new moon money jar. What is this jar? It's a jar that you can contribute any dollar amount to. Um, it's not an actual jar, but it's a, a pot where you can contribute any dollar amount to um, bring in more abundance, abundance of money in your life or love or uh, devotion or peace, prosperity, all things good, all things um, that you want to manifest. Um, we will do a collective prayer uh, on the new moon on uh, March 2nd to uh, collectively manifest, corporately manifest uh, with each and every person who uh, contributes to the uh, new moon money jar. So if you're feeling like you want to contribute, uh, the link is below. Thank you. And let's get into it. All right. So. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. This, you guys are my last reading, so I'm like star crazy. Anyway, um, so we've got message and poverty. All right, so you could be receiving a message maybe in seven days, seven hours. It could be seven weeks, but typically this is days here. Maybe from somebody that you thought it was over with or they thought it was over with you. They thought maybe... Um, nothing could happen between the two of you. Like it was an, an impoverished relationship. There's no growth here. There's nothing, there's lack. Um, there is something lacking. Maybe somebody is gonna come back. Um, maybe even this is a message from somebody that maybe you put out of your life, you're not dealing with, you're not talking to. This is somebody who um, they could be in need or vice versa, your need. You could be sending a message to somebody about your needs or what it is you want from them or what you want them to do or what they need to change or vice versa. This is what they're doing with you or it could be mutual. It's a good news message, but it could be about some things that are a bit testy or it could kind of trouble the waters or um, it could be about why something isn't working. So it's a message um, uh, possibly about an ending or why something isn't transforming or why you guys haven't had good luck with one another. You got the black cat on the left side and we know the black cat should be on the right side to have good luck. So you get the, yeah, so it's, you know, um, maybe that's what the conversation will be about. Let's see what the soulmate cards have to say. All right, yeah, take a leap into the unknown. So it's like, maybe you don't know where this relationship is going or what type of promise it has, or you don't know um, if it could go the distance, but it says take the leap of faith anyway into the unknown. Um, what do you have to lose? That's what I heard. Let's see. According to the Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of the other half. So maybe you feel like you found your twin flame or your other half or the person who fits you perfectly, okay? And, um, it's like you guys need to take this relationship serious or take it in a new direction here um, or it's going to kind of fall apart and maybe you're going to have some conversation on why it hasn't gone in that direction or you could even have conversation with someone about why the relationship ended um, it's almost like interviewing your ex or interviewing your current person as to what's going on or what needs to be changed or how you can change the the course of this relationship. Let's see what's going on in career and finance. Okay, you're on fire. Everything is working exactly as planned. So you could be on fire. You could be working overtime, working a lot. Um, things are working exactly how you plan them. You maybe um, you have plans for vacation. You have plans for something or plans for um, where it's going to take uh, maybe a large sum of money. So you, you had to put in a lot of work here. Whatever it is, it's going as you planned it. So that's really good. 
um, overthinking. Get out of your head and into your heart. Maybe you're overthinking something. Um, analysis paralysis. So when you overthink something, you don't do anything. You you get paralyzed in in doing, you know, in thinking. So then you do nothing. So get out of overthinking. Get out of your head and get into your heart. What does your heart say? What do you really want to do? Um, what do your feelings, your emotions say? What pushes you? What is your inspiration? You know, so get out of overthinking because you've got something good here um, and you're completely on fire. Have a conversation here in your love life um, or with a loved one. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments section. You can also go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two um, by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. If you took something from the reading, you could give something back. You could buy me a coffee. Um, if you're feeling moved to, you could contribute to the new moon money jar. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.